Okay, well we are back and we are in Helheim. So I, uh, I'm actually feeling a lot better today. Last time I was still recovering from busy work week. I uh, hadn't slept a lot, but now I'm feeling good. And uh, we have a lot to do in Helheim today, I think. Um, I don't know how big this is. Like I said, I don't quite understand where Helheim is within this. It looks like it's sort of inside of Stormheim, but I'm not really sure. Like I see this, but I don't see where we are on this big map, right? So we're somewhere inside of Stormheim, I think. And it looks like our first quest here is an unworthy task. And we have to free these people, these unworthy souls. Uh, we need to find a cooperative spirit, it looks like. Uh, oh, this should be some easy kills here for us. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I don't really understand what Helheim is yet. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what uh, Helheim is, if that sounds really strange to say. I, I just don't know what it is. Um, it, it looks like my soul has been banished, so I'm gonna get out of that thing. Uh, so anyway, I lo I'm a lost soul. Your soul belongs to Helia. So, oh, what did we get? <clears throat> uh, plate gear, no good for us. I'll let these guys out. Okay, I won't let them feed you to the hounds again. Oh, I almost missed this guy. There we go, that's the cooperative spirit I needed. Alright. Oh, uh, what? Come back. I was at the follow him. Okay, there we go. Uh, I surely thought my... I thought surely my fate was sealed. Okay, complete quest. Collect 20 pieces of seaweed from the Cavaldir Mist Callers and Soul Flayers. We can do that. Accessories of the Cursed. Collect eight Cursed Bones. We can collect some Cursed Bones, no problem. Uh, well, I'm guessing... It's these creepy guys way out here. Uh, Gyre, the Eternal Nemesis, kind of scary. And it looks like... We'll be heading down here. Let's see, what do we got? A couple of bad guys here? Okay, no problem. Hmm. These guys are really easy to kill. Uh, they are not a problem at all. So, this area is really neat. So, I don't know. This is like uh, the underworld or something. I, I don't know what I would call it, but it, it, it feels like a pretty evil looking place. I'm just going to cut down here and talk to this guy. Free this soul. What happens if you free these souls? They just keep fighting for me? Nice. I'll take that. Good. More free souls, the better. Uh, now the plan here is just to, I guess, finish up all these quests. And, you know, one thing I've learned, uh, I've been reading more about, is that it seems like... Do I some of my poisons up? Yeah, they're still up. Good. Uh, leveling in Legion, I've learned, is not really... Doesn't hold the same importance as leveling in Vanilla did. Um, or pre-cataclysm maybe i don't know exactly when leveling changed it seems like it's gradually changed uh, but it seems like legion in particular is different because it focuses more on uh the important thing is your artifact weapon not so much actually uh your level and so it seems like the leveling process doesn't really hold as much clout or as va much value Are these guys undead i don't know if i, I was just wondering if i can eat them we're going to come up here and help this guy out. Uh, might as well take advantage of the ones that are fighting for us here. Um, but yeah, so I get the feeling that it's uh, leveling is less important. And in vanilla, leveling was a big part of the game. It took you probably 10 days, on average, I would say, of real play time to uh, hit 60, which is a pretty long time. I, mean, I think the record is like four days or so. I think the very fast I've ever heard of anyone hitting level 60 from 1 to 60 is about 4 days. Uh, which is, you know, honorable medallion. What is this? Removes all moon appearing effects and all effects which would cause loss of control of your character while in PvP combat. Okay. Cool, I don't know how we got that. Um, enter a battleground arena and learn the spell honorable medallion. I don't really understand how I 
earned that. I didn't think I entered an arena or anything like that. Oh, shoot. Uh, whoops. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's an alliance character. Please don't kill me. Oh, God. I'm stealthing. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna go attack this thing, and then I realized it was a 100, level 107 alliance character, which I really don't want to die right now. Um, we still need more cursed bones, and I haven't seen a lot of these cursed bones, to be honest. Uh, but I need also some seaweed. Most of the cursed bones, though, is what I'm looking for. Is this druid? This druid's scary. Like, I don't want to die to him. I just want to get my stuff done and move along move along my way. Um, some bones over here. I'm just going to stay stealth. I'm guessing he can... Oh, God. Uh, 102 Night Elf Demon. Okay, I'm... Oh, this is a battleground. I get it now, right? That's... Th this Helheim is probably a battleground, hence why I got that achievement and why I'm now seeing Alliance around here, right? I think that makes sense. Anyway, I think that druid needs the same thing as I need, so I'm gonna run if he comes after me. I think. Oh god. I hope he can't see me that well, like, I'm pretty sure he can see me because I'm pretty low level and I've got my pet following me, so that certainly isn't gonna help me hide from him. But he seems to be mostly friendly. Uh, oh, uh, but I still am gonna be- I'm still gonna hide from him just in case. Uh, okay, we need- we got all of our bones. We need four more seaweed. That druid's way too scary. I don't know, I've never been scared of Moonkin in my life, but suddenly today's the day where uh, Moonkin scare me now. <laughs> I, I've never felt that fear before. It's only because he's so high level compared to me. I've never- usually if you fight Moonkins... What is this? Absorbing. All damage increased by 2%, health regen increased by 2%, haste increased by 2%. Cool. These guys drop seaweed. I don't actually think these things drop the seaweed for us. Um, I, I, one thing I like is I enjoy these like random buffs that we get from just being out in the world. Um, I'm trying to, like, this, what is this called? Uh, bolstered spirit. Like, I actually like those a lot, and that's something that you don't really get in, um, man, I, I just realized, I don't know why I never noticed this, Garot, yeah, okay, never mind, okay, yeah, I, for some reason I thought Garot didn't apply combo points, but apparently I'm totally wrong, also this stacks, so that's cool, okay, so that buff will stack, anyway, so what I was saying is, those buffs are pretty, ooh, hold on, we have a sort of rare spawn thing over here, I love checking these things out, I know they're not that useful, but I like scoping them out. Can we fight this guy? Fenry. Yeah, we can probably take him. I want to try at least. We'll see how it actually goes. Um, yeah, so I like these random little buffs you can pick up. I think they're kind of fun. And um, they certainly... I don't know. They, they, they're cool. I like them. Um, I can't really think of anything that's really equivalent to this in... Vanilla. It's in terms of just like killing a mob and they drop a little thing you get as a buff. There's not a lot of things like that in vanilla. Um, I can't. I honestly am having a hard time thinking of any buffs like that in vanilla. Uh, and I, you know, earlier last episode we found like little potions on the wall. Those potions were pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're, they're little bottles. Not really potions. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, shadow step. I'm trying to get used to using shadow step. It's such a good ability, and I feel like I have. Been neglecting it severely. However, this guy is now dead. Ooh, what is that? That seems good. Hold on one sec. I always forget to put my stopwatch on. Let's start that bad boy up. Okay, um... So I feel like that was a good thing we just picked up. So it's a trinket that is plus 319 in mastery. Item level 705, equip. Your attacks have a chance to burn, dealing 300 damage every 2 seconds over 12 seconds. That seems good. Uh, maybe we'll replace this one here. Cool. Burning attacks, always fun. Um, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? I'm sorry, I'm getting, I got distracted by that awesome, rather awesome looking item. Uh, yeah, so having these world buffs out here, I think makes things, well, it's kind of fun. That's nothing crazy, but 
the closest thing I can think of to that is in Upper Black Rock Spire, um, in Vanilla, there was a orc spellcaster, like a, just a regular mob that you saw a lot of them. If you mind control that mob, um, what is this? If you mind control that mob, why is a sleeping guy back here? Uh, if you mind control them, you could cast a buff that he, a spell, a spell of his, which would give you like 80, I think, additional fire resistance, which was like a significant amount. And that fire resistance was really helpful for guilds going into Molten Core, uh, and even Blackwing Lair to some extent. Um, and so a lot of guilds, especially if they were trying to beat a boss for the first time, they would go into Upper Black, upper black Rock Spire in small groups, and they would um, mind control these orcs and cast this fire resistance on everyone, and then they'd go into the raid and hopefully not wipe, because if you died, you lose the buff. So um, that's like one of the first examples I can think of where a world buff was actually really useful. Um, not not including raid buffs like from a Nixir and a Farian. Okay, we're gonna turn in our kelp quest. Hmm. Cool. And the cursed bones. Uh, choose our reward. So that's only a four item level difference. So we're gonna pick the Soul Flayer's collar of bones, which is a for whatever reason it's level six ninety nine. I don't know why not just seven hundred. I like the summary here, the, the, the stat changes will occur. I'll lose 103 agility, 69 mastery, but gain a lot of stamina, crit, and haste. That's a really nice feature. I, I wish that was in vanilla WoW even. I, I find myself doing that a lot where I'm adding up stats and the numbers are smaller in vanilla WoW. It's like plus 10 stamina, minus 2 intellect, but still helpful. Okay, let's equip that. Ooh, I'm rather gross looking. Sneak past. Okay, so... Which way am I going? Guess I'm going this way. That's this. Let's kill this guy real quick. Who is this? Uh, oh, just a random person. Get some buffs here. And steal that. I probably missed a lot of those buffs, I just realized. Wait, what's back here? Am I supposed to be, like... Doing I wasn't paying attention. I need to open this. Okay, got it. Now I understand. I should not be attacking. If I attack anyone, then I... Uh, that's, that makes sense. That guy was neutral to me. But as soon as you attack him, uh, you lose your curse. That's cool. So now I'm just sneaking right by these guys, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. I was wondering. I, like, I noticed that guy was neutral, and I wasn't really paying attention to what that meant. Now I understand. However, I think I'm going the wrong way here a little bit. I gotta get like, up this ledge. There we go. Okay, we're sneaking past Gwarm. See a Gwarm? Snucked. Sneaked. Snaked. That was easy. Complete quest. Confront Helia and ask to be freed from Helheim. Okay. I love these little birds. I always want to attack these things. Oh, I guess I should follow. Oh, never mind. You don't need to follow the spirit. Okay, let's kill this little bird. Can I get him? Yeah, there we go. I don't know why. I feel, I feel like these are really fun mobs to kill. The little birds. I, I'm just a bad person, maybe. What is that? A soul font. Ooh, all these scary level 110 people, man. I don't want them to mess with me. Uh, am I searching, tracking, minerals? Okay, I still got that on. I just want to make sure. Oh, God. Okay, these are good guys. I'm okay here. I, okay, I was gonna see if I could grab this crate, but I can't. That crate's for something else, apparently. I, yeah, the crate's for something else. Ooh, there is, however, another rare spawn over here, and it looks like a chest over here. Oh, I'm gonna come and get this chest, and I think this is down here. There's like a little tunnel under here. Just gonna sneak past this guy. I just wanna take a peek in here, see what's in here. Can I sneak past these guys? Oh, stealth's pretty solid. All right, Jorvid, Jor, Jorvild, the trusted. Okay, we got this guy. No problem. Huh. This guy. Hmm. 
Whoa, holy crap, that was kind of gross. It looked like uh, Cthune's tentacles there came up to uh, rise from the dead. Maybe I should stay out of those. Seems like a good plan. This was a very easy rare spawn. And I, I like I said, I, I don't I forget the term. I know these aren't really rare spawns uh, in the the classic sense of what I would think of a rare spawn. And they're still kind of rare spawns in my head at least. <clears throat> what is this? Loot 100 gold. That's a cool achievement. We got uh, okay, 20 artifact power. Nifty. Now oh, we can get out of here now. I don't know if I really care to finish this raise hell quest, because it seems like these guys take a while to clear up. But I do want to grab this chest up here, because, uh... What's the fun of leveling if you just rush through it all? Which I know I had a habit of rushing through it in the... Sap this guy. Rushing through it in the first few episodes. As far as the lore, I don't follow it too closely. What just happened? I think that might have just gotten me... Part of the hell... The raise hell quest is what I think that did. Huh. Spoils, okay. Well maybe I will These chests are so easy to grab, but let me let me check this again. What happens if I actually Okay, 59%? 61%. Okay, so I just get 2% boost for opening those. Uh I'm getting pretty close. Now I kinda wanna finish it. Um I don't know why, just like more spoils. These are uh, sort of like undead pirates, what they really remind me of. I mean, I know they're raiders, basically, the Cavaldiers. Um, kind of remind me of undead pirates, though. Ooh, a spellcaster. Is it a spellcaster? Maybe not. Curse Walker? I thought he was. I guess I'm wrong. Hmm. Uh, the voice animations in Legion, far superior anything in vanilla um, and that it's probably not so much because the voice actors are better but I think it's just the technical limitations have been reduced at this point uh, there's a lot more uh, resources available to the Blizzard team both in terms of oh god it's another high level um, both in terms of their finances like I'm sure Blizzard is financially much better off than they were when WoW first launched not that they were bad off necessarily, but they invested a lot into developing well, and it was a big risk. I mean, I think it's one of the, if you ever look at like the history of MMORPGs, there are a lot of companies that have, you know, Soul Thirster, what is that guy? Whoa. We're going to go down there in a moment. Blood beard. Huh. He's immune to stuns, well, that's scary. I, I don't really understand some of these things. Some of these animations, like I just am not following what is actually happening. Uh, like I see them casting stuff, but I don't really seem to be taking a lot of damage. So it's just I, I don't I'm not like understanding what's going on sometimes. Um, I don't know. I, I I need to figure it out. Oh, shadow step. Yeah, there we go. Shadow step, totally not useful, like in this instance, but still super fun. So I'm going to use it anyway. Drown in the Choking Tide. So what does he got? Movement speed reduced by 20%. Okay, so that's what he's doing. He's reducing my movement speed, which I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I think, right? He's... Okay. Oh, that was fun to kill that guy. I want to check out that giant squid thing down there. Hold on, let's... Is there anything over here? Like, is this guy guarding something, or is he just hanging out? I feel like he should have been... He's like a name dog. I feel like he should have had something more noticeable but okay yeah i'm gonna jump down we're gonna fight this squid thing down here soul thirster come on graves let's go this is super scary underwater stuff is always kind of creepy to me uh can i stun this guy it's a big ass dude i can stun him nice I need to make sure I keep Vendetta up at all times. I feel like it's something I forget a lot, is to put Vendetta up, and... It... Huh. Okay. Oh. 
not going too badly here. Yeah, I feel like I forget Vendetta a lot. It's just, that's one thing. Honestly, rogues, at least for leveling, are a lot more complicated now than in vanilla. In vanilla, this is what I would do. So I would always, um, basically I'd usually Sinister Strike, sometimes Backstab, but generally Sinister Strike. So you'd enter a fight, stealth, ideally. Uh, you would, usually Cheap Shot is what I would do. Sometimes I would Garrote, but almost always I would Cheap Shot, or Ambush if I was Dagger. Um... Oh, that was easy. Teaches you how to summon this companion. Huh. I want to try this real quick. See you, Graves. We have a jellyfish now. That is awesome. Does a jellyfish follow you? It says aquatic. So I don't know if it'll follow me outside of water, but we're gonna get out of here because the jellyfish are kind of creepy. Uh, so in vanilla, you would basically open up with a cheap shot or an ambush, and then you would sinister strike three or four times, and then you would eviscerate. And that was pretty much always your rotation. Uh, the exception would be if you were fighting multiple mobs in a row, you might slice and dice to keep your uh, attack speed increased. Um, but that was kind of it. You'd kick or cheap shot occasionally if there was like a big spell you wanted to interrupt. I don't know what is going on over here. But we, uh, we're we going to move back to the main quest here. We aren't going to worry about the raise hell quest just yet. Because I have a feeling we have more of these Cavalier to kill anyway for the quest. Um, but I feel like that was all you would do as a rogue. You would just cheap shot, spam Sinister Strike, eviscerate. Maybe kick or vanish or sprint out of combat or evasion, you know, like some of your bigger cooldowns. But here as a rogue, it feels like I open with like a cheap shot and then, uh, or garrote. But then I, I cheap shot and then garrote and then mutilate a few times and then rupture and then uh, maybe mutilate and Kingsbane a few more times and, uh, and venom and so forth. And actually someone sent me a really nice uh, rotation for leveling as a rogue of your abilities. But holy crap. Remember our bargain, Banshee. But I lost. Dare cross me. I screenshotted it, but I didn't use that rotation right now. But I will at some point. This is super scary. Ah, my loyal hero. You must not languish here. The Aegis cannot fall into enemy hands. The future of the Horde depends on you and me. Find your way back to Stormheim. I will be waiting. Oh, see you, Savannah. Savannah basically flies on her own. Um, I didn't have to long here. You will kneel before addressing the great Helia. Okay. Have fun with my pet outsider. I will enjoy watching him break you. Okay, it's kind of scary. It's like, it's a big mob. That's a gigantic NPC. Um, that was like, probably larger, the largest NPC in, the largest NPC in vanilla was probably Ragnaros, which is sort of disappointing if you think about it a little bit. Um, because Ragnaros was one of the first raid bosses, right? First, in, first raid instance, the last boss. It's kind of disappointing. That there was no larger bosses ever. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to finish the raise hell quest. I need to kill about ten more of these things, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and do it real fast. Also, I love that our little jellyfish is just floating with us. He's just hanging right there, little jelly. I guess it makes sense. He's an aquatic pet, so he will just uh, hang out with us. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, Ragnaros is probably the largest size of any character in vanilla. I can't think of anything larger. Um, none of the Blackwing Lair bosses were larger, and C'Thun was pretty large, but I definitely wouldn't say he was larger than Ragnaros. Um, so who, who would have been larger? Nothing, I guess. Yeah, that's a giant NPC, that thing. 
I wonder if I can kill... I don't know if I want to mess with gear. I think it's a bad idea to... Oh, wow. Just crushing those things gives me... Hold on a second. Wow. Why wasn't I just doing that all along? Hmm. Well, they make this nice. It's a couple easy things to just uh, click on and kill. Probably a little bit faster that way. I'm just going to sneak around this guy. Hopefully not die. Whack a couple skeletons. I think Gear over there is doing a pretty good job on his own. Doesn't need... They don't, it doesn't need my help to kill off those little guys. It's probably for the best that I don't go near him. Um, is this guy going to aggro me? Huh. Oh yeah, I was going to say, he should have aggroed me. It seemed like it was close enough. You know, I guess I need to kill this guy. Because we need to kill a few more of these. I don't see enough skeletons to pop. Yeah, popping skeletons is nice. That's some good stuff. Uh, I wonder how... I really do wonder how many of these worthy soul things I missed from the first few guys I was killing. Like, I feel like I really wasn't paying attention to those uh, at the beginning. At the beginning of this episode. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We need two more kills. And then we'll be done with this quest, which I don't even know where we, we turn this in. I always forget these bonus quests. I think usually it feels like um, just completing them gives you the credit for them. Just looking for another... There we go. Skeleton over here. I'm just going to click him real fast. Oh, but I will absorb... Oh, no. I won't absorb that. I was going to absorb that uh, buff there, but I guess not. You reached level 102. Nice. Oh, I didn't realize how close I was level 102. Awesome. So, um... Well, also, by the way, we did finish our class quest. The Big Bad Wolf was completed. Um, so now, that was great. That was quick. I didn't realize how... Six hours, six and a half hours to hit two levels. Okay. Complete quest. Uh, collect a Helmheim Waylight from Bloodbeard. Oh, man. Is that the guy I just killed? I know who this is, right? He's a little pirate. Oh, no wonder. Okay, I figured I was like, he has to have some use. Uh has some purpose here, right? Now I know why. He does have a purpose. Uh, 102. So now that we're 102, I'm going to finish up in Helheim and we get out of here. I want to go back to my rogue class hall and send out some more um, people to do more quests for me, some more followers or champions, whatever they're called. But then I also want to... Um, whoa. Uh, I forgot this guy can't be stunned. My bad. I should have known that. Um, I also would like to... Try and figure out the artifact quests and how to get uh, my, one my level 102. I heard you can get artifact weapons for your other specs. And I think what I want to do is switch into um, other specs. I want to switch into outlaw. So what I'm thinking would be a little better for leveling is this sort of the sense I'm getting. Um, not totally sure on that, but pretty confident, pretty confident. And that's the other thing. I, you know, uh, back in before all the class talent changes, um, every class pretty much had one ideal spec for leveling. Um, for rogues, it was combat, generally, for leveling. Uh, mages, it was pretty much ice or frost spec. Um, and you could, of course, you could play as a fire mage to level. It was fine, but it was slower. There's always, like, an ideal spec. Um, rogues was clearly combat, which has been replaced by outlaw, which I think, actually, that replacement just occurred... Oh, God. Don't kill me. I think the replacement for out the outlaw combat to outlaw just changed in Legion, I think, is what I heard. Uh, so it's like a relatively recent change. But yeah, combat was a way to go for leveling as a rogue, and it, I get the impression that's kind of true also, now even. But assassination seems fine. Like I, I don't seem to be having a lot of difficulties leveling with assassination spec. Okay, turn in the waylight. Oh dear god. <laughs> Let's recap. I lost 38,000 health from his offhand. <laughs> and then 8,000, and then 6,000, 17, then 8,500. Wrecked. Well, at least resing is really easy. Or releasing spirits is really easy here. <laughs> that guy, like, chased me down and destroyed me. Okay, let's uh, complete the quest. What do we want? Um, seems like this would be a better upgrade for our ring. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to find and release the Fragment of Will, the Fragment of Might, and the Fragment of Valor. We have Allies in Death, release 8, Drowning Vel Velcra. Velcra. Okay, got it. So let's get this ring equipped. We want it to replace our... 
Lower level ring. Easy. These guys should be easy to free, right? Okay. Let's... Can't sap this guy. Okay, so just kill them. Why can't I sap this? It's a humanoid, right? Oh, it's undead, so maybe that's why. Got it. Releasing. There's some weird mounts out here now. Some weird mounts. You guys are welcome. And what else? Fragments we need, right? Okay. So the fragments are... Over there, okay. Huh. These guys are too good. These high level characters are just like. All they do is like run up and just make things happen, which. I, I know how that feels. When you get that high level, you can just uh, blow stuff up. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm not quite there yet. Someday. Someday we will be 110. And. Oh, I. Uh, I have a plan of possibly, I ordered a new webcam by the way, because I think my webcam's a little bit like squished in terms Clever outsider, but your efforts will only prove hmm. futile. Hell yeah, it's underestimating us again. Um, unfortunately, uh, so my webcam, I, I don't mind the one I have. Um, the major complaint I have with it is I feel like the field of vision is really squished. So I ordered a new one, it's not like super expensive, but I ordered a new one. Um, and it's a little bit better field of vision. I think it looks a little bit nicer, or should look a little bit nicer. I don't know yet. I haven't used it. Uh, hopefully that'll be here in the next few days, and I'll get it in for the next episode, possibly. Not the next episode, maybe two episodes from now um, might be in. Ooh, let's get this guy. Freeing all the bad guys, or the good guys, sorry, not the bad guys. All these poor drowning spirits. That's another bird. And, uh... Besides that, I, I'm having an idea that I might start streaming a little bit. Not often, but maybe just a little bit once in a while. Uh, once I hit 110. I think I'm going to keep the leveling purely pre-recorded like this. But I kind of like the idea. Too many Alliance characters here. It's super scary. Okay, but I kind of like the idea of maybe doing some streaming later on. Especially at 110, maybe when I'm in... Uh, some, I don't know, what are they, heroic instances that you'd call them? I don't know, some higher level things. I'm trying to figure out where this... I think I don't need to go this way, I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I think... I need to get around here somewhere else. Oh, God. Okay, never mind. I thought that was a uh, freaking... Okay, that's what I need to do, I need to go underground. I thought that was uh, some alliance characters there just like waiting. I was like, oh my God, don't kill me. This reminds me of some Anchorage Cthulhu stuff here. It's like these uh, purple tentacle looking things. Do Anything it's... Ooh. Okay, we can kill this guy. Rotting Jailer. I don't. I didn't see this when he came in. I don't know where this guy came from. Um, I love the models in this game. I, I think they've done a very good job uh, with the models and with the effects. Like the... Like the you can feel carefully, there's like little skulls flying off them. And every time I hit them, uh, those little skulls, like I like that little, um, what is it, that little texture that pops up. And he had like the purple glow. And I feel like even these guys, like, oh, turn around first, guys. Thank you. Look at these guys even, they have this like, kind of rain effect. It's like um, sort of flowing down and pooling up the bottom. It's a small detail, but I think these things all really add to the uh, ambiance of the game, sort of the, the atmosphere. And it, it really is, uh, you can, t if, I mean really, if you go look at old videos of Vanilla WoW, you can clearly feel and tell the difference in terms of the, uh, the aesthetics and how things have been modernized quite a bit. And I think it tells a little bit better of a story. Um, it, there's some, how resourceful you are. like, Go look at... Oh. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah is very demeaning in her tone towards us. Um, but if you go look at some old Vanilla WoW videos and look at... Try to find one of like Sylvanas. Sylvanas was like the uh, the leader of Undercity in Vanilla. If you go look at her, like look at the character model. And she looks pretty much like most other character models. Doesn't really stand out as a... 
unique, you know, extremely powerful figure. Defeat Gear. 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 Okay. Whoa. Taking action. So we're finally going to fight this guy. I was wondering if we would get in here and take him on. Well, I'm done. I win. He is dead. <laughs> if only it were that easy. Um, you know, I swear I just saw this guy alive just a moment ago, and now he's dead. Like, when we were just, like, running over here, I thought he was alive. But, uh, I guess he'll come back, hopefully. Gear slain. Oh, here we go. Found him. Okay. Is there about to be a fight here? Okay. I've apparently got aggro from this guy, which is fine, I guess, but I wouldn't mind him attacking someone else, since I'm probably relatively squishy. Actually, someone's smoking. I don't know who it is, but I've got aggro, but he's he's going down fast. Dodge that punch, because that seemed uh, painful. Rooted. Oh, gross. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, how did I just suddenly die? The time for planning is over, champion. The time for planning now. is over, champion. We take action now. We Can I still get credit for this kill if I get close enough to him? Oh, I've still got poisons on him, so I should get credit. Should get credit. Oh, good. Dead. We got some, uh, we didn't get much loot from him, but that's okay. Just some gray junk. Complete our quest. Okay, confront Helia and leave Helheim. We're gonna get some cool stuff. Okay, back to Helia. Whoops. Pop my, uh... Heal vial there, I didn't really mean that. Okay. I have to run into the water there. I was looking, I had a text message on my phone, I was looking down, you might have noticed, and I was looking back up and suddenly I'm running into a lake almost. That was a bit of a mistake. I wonder how powerful... Oh, I was hoping she would come along with us, we might need some help. Jeez, I love this Goblin Shredder thing this guy has. I, like, I don't know. I've seen one of these earlier, and these, these look so cool. I love that. Okay, we have defeated your champion now. Release us from Helheim. Okay. It is done, Helia. We have fulfilled your bargain, and we will collect our payment. Oh, there she is. insolence! None will leave Helheim while I rule! She has 644 million health. What? This cannot be! Her hold is weakening. She cannot keep us here. No one leaves Helheim! No one! Your turns were met, Helia. It seems even you must honor your word. Hmm. No! Helia is... Horrifying. Hell yeah, it's like that's cool. She's she's scary, but I uh, appreciate it. And, and, and uh, hmm, okay, we're back in Stormheim. Wow. Okay, we survived. Survived. Let's go ahead and chat up this guy here, Javi. Choose your reward. So what do we want? Uh, finds and picked up iron artifact, shadow artifact. Reduce the cooling sprint. Or I feel like neither of these are actually really better than what we have. I I mean like I guess I'd use that one. I don't know. Neither of them feel that much better. Okay, take the fish from Javi's fish barrel and skewer it on a spear above the fire. The scale, <laughs> we just, like, met with this giant demigod type of thing, and the next thing we know we're skewering fish, and it slows me down, even though, these fish are really heavy, even though we just did all this crazy stuff, but a few fish slow us down. That's funny. Okay, well, we're skewering some fish. Okay, we got the next quest, I think, in this line, but 
Gotta turn this quest to hobby first. You're here at last. Find Veth here in the Felscorn camp. Okay. Um. What is this? Ready to fly. Okay, I don't want to fly there just yet. I do want to see what this is tasting of the Blood Kings. What? I don't know what this is. I want to see what the star is leading me to real quick. Is it up here? I think it's up here, right? It looks like I'm like up underneath the star. Maybe. Maybe it's outside. I don't really understand what that is. Down is what it says. Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, so what I'd like to do is actually head back to our class hall, I think. Um, because I think these quests will lead us to... You know, let's go ahead and do this next one, the Dark Lady's Bidding. Let's go ahead and get sent over there. Good day for flying. And we'll just see where that, if that gives like a flight point or anything useful, uh, which I'm sure it will. And then after that, I want to head back to the class hall, uh, send our troops out for some other quests, and possibly figure out what we need to do to get an artifact weapon and switch into combat, or not combat, uh, outlaw spec. What is this? Laystone deposit, okay. Hmm, found like a new camp for us here. Nifty. There are rumors about those daggers of yours. You may, but only for a moment. Okay. I see them? Sure. I feel like I shouldn't have given this guy my weapons. I feel like that was a mistake. Uh. Serrated reverse blades. Yeah, yeah. I recognize that. What, is, what just happened? Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't really know what that guy was doing, but that's fine. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, is to grab a flight path here. I also want to go through my mailbox in just a moment. But let's go ahead and grab this flight path first. I always... I don't know how many times, so in vanilla, one of the worst things is to get to a new city, you have to actually walk all the way to that flight pet, that, that city, uh, manually. And before level 40, you don't even have a mount, so you're doing it just like on foot. And then you get there. If you forget, like for example, a lot of times I would go there, grab some quests, maybe play for a bit, and then hearth back to like a major city like Orgrimmar, and then suddenly realize I forgot to grab the flight master and then have to run all the way back again. It's painful. Um, it's really painful. Okay, we're gonna fire some catapults and launch some, uh, I kill some bad guys. That's all easy stuff. So I want to check the mail real quick. Actually, I want to... Is there a vendor here? Innkeeper. Okay. Let me browse your goods. I'm just gonna empty out some of this junk. I still need to figure out how, which of these things to get rid of, but I think I can vendor almost all this stuff. Um, all the old gear that I'm not using anymore. I will do at some point, but I'm not quite there yet. I need to check my mailbox. This is from the first video, probably. Cool. Thank you. Uh, da, da, da. Turn off the highlight effect. I'll turn back an old sparkle effect. I'm going to leave the highlight effect on. It's easier, and I appreciate that. Um, I do plan to go back to the old content. I like to go back and see vanilla stuff in Legion. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to World of Warcraft Legion. I will read these more thoroughly and reply off camera. I just want to look at them real quick. That's some good advice. Battle pets. Awesome. Let's uh, grab some battle pets. So how do these work? Okay, yep, they add them to my journal. Cool. Thank you. I haven't figured out what how pets work very well yet, so I need to play through that more and figure that out. Um, requires level 110. 
I'll hold on to that, but I can't use it obviously for a while. Make pickpocket a little more. When you pickpocket a humanoid enemy, you may also copy their appearance for five minutes. Your disguise will unravel upon entering combat. Oh, that's awesome. So do I just get this permanently if I use it? How does this work? That's cool, so I just... Nifty. So now if I... That's really cool. So you can actually use glyphs to upgrade spells, apparently, which is really crazy. Um, Illidan is 95% horde. Yeah, I've heard that. It's a really high horde. Um, here's some gold. Wow, thank you so much. Um, I like I said, I'll reply to people after the video, but some good stuff there. But wow, that's uh, that glyph is awesome. That's like a whole new. F that's a whole new thing to me. Um, we're going to head to Dalaran now, because I want to go and look at my rogue quests, uh, class quests. I think we've got some things we can do there. I don't really know what, but I want to figure that out. Um, it's a long load here, suddenly. Oh, there we go. Okay, well now I see why there's a bunch of big guys here. You know, one thing I will say about Legion is that, honestly... It, to me, is a lot more complicated than vanilla. In vanilla, all you're doing is leveling from 1 to 60. And there's some quests you can pick along the way. There's instances you can explore. But for the vast majority of the time, yeah, there's nothing you need to go back and forth from. In any every, every two levels, you get new skills. That's like the gist of it, basically. But I just feel like there's always things going on here. And it's... I don't know if I sound weird, but I'm just like, sort of confusing, and I, it sounds like I'm um, saying the game's too complicated or too hard. I don't really mean it's too hard, but I I just really came into it thinking one thing about the game, and I realized it's a lot different than what I anticipated. Even now, even six hours, seven hours into the game, I'm still trying to understand where things are, uh, when I need to go to a class hall, when I need to send my champions out. Um, it's starting to pull together, and... People have offered to, uh, a lot of people have been messaging me and offered to, to explain all these things to me, but I'm trying to do this without just like getting a cheat sheet and learn everything. I am reading through YouTube comments where I'm learning quite a bit, but I'm trying to avoid uh, like really sitting down and thoroughly reviewing stuff to the point that it takes away some of the discovery. Cause I, I wanna, I basically one of the things I wanna do is try to imagine if I was playing this game for the first time without any help, if I was just a, a new player, what it would be like to me. And, um, obviously, there's some I'm tainted quite a bit because I've got a lot of old WoW experience and a lot of people are giving me advice, but I am enjoying trying to figure things out a little on my own. Uh, we did complete our Big Bad Wolf quest, quest. Vanessa leveled up to level 101. We have now met Winston Wolf, who will join us. There are no available quests, which is fine. Um, hmm. I know I could do some quests here, but I kind of want to keep working in um, Stormheim, because we've got a lot of stuff to do there, and it's been pretty fun. Okay. Complete our quest. Speak to Winston Wolf. Where are you at, Winston? Over this way. There we go, just hanging on the corner, looking weird. Order advancement. Okay, increase the chance for quest rewards to get a rare epic bonus upgrade from non -re repeatable quests. And it was a sneak attack ability, which increased the success chance of your first mission you send each day by 20%. Let's go for that. I don't know. I, I, I mean, like, increasing your chance of success seems nice, but um, I kind of think just getting a better chance of getting good stuff Be seems good. Not really sure. Ready for turn in. Okay, what Winston suggests. 
Grants 300 artifact power to your currently equipped artifact weapon. Cool. A body of evidence. Uh oh. So someone was assassinated in the sewers. That's a little gross. I investigate the body. Okay, we're going straight CSI on these people. Choose a second artifact to pursue. Okay, this is where... Okay, I, I was wondering how I would figure this out. I didn't know how I would get these other artifacts, but I'm going to pursue the Dreadblades. Outlaw. Yes. Okay. I don't know if that was the right choice, but I'm going to say yes. Um, complete quest. Okay. I'm just like... Huh. Bye back. Now... As I recall, hold on, I'm, I'm, let me figure this out. So I just switched specs, right? I'm outlaw spec now. Um, which requires swords, I think. And I should spec into my talents. So uh, let me just go through this and figure out what I want. I generally like things that are passive because I'm so bad at the game and things are complicated for me that I just like having um, things where it's like, get an extra attack when you are attacking, like Swordmaster, Saber Slash has a 10% increased chance to strike additional time. Sure. Grappling Hook. Um, increase your movement speed at all times of 15%. That seems pretty nice, although Acrobatic Strike's probably better for actual... Yeah, that seems nice, I like hit and run. Okay, you have a maximum of 6 combo points. Your finishing moves consume with 6 combo points, and your finishing move deals 5%, okay. Um, Whoa, that's crazy. I don't know if I can handle 10 combo points. I'm going to do Vigor. Just extra energy. Extra regen. Seems nice. Um, I've never used Faint. And Cheat Death seems pretty good. Um, but I think Iron Stomach's maybe better because I use my Crimson Vial a lot. So I'm going to go with that. Enemies disabled with your blind... Yeah. Okay. Gouge, blind, cheap shot, and sap no longer cost energy, and parlay. Pacifies a target not in combat who is forced to negotiate instead of fighting for five minutes. Only works on humanoids, demons. Replaces blind. Okay. So, I haven't found myself using blind a lot, which I probably should be. Um, so I'm just going to do prey on the weak. Cannonball barrage. Command a ghost ship crew to barrage a target area with cannonballs. Doing 100,000 physical damage over two seconds. That's really cool. Um, teleport to, to an enemy with 10 yards a second. Seven times over three seconds. I'm going to do Cannonball Barrage. That seems awesome. That's like all I care about is that it's a very cool ability. And marked for death. Marks are instantly generating five combo points. Slice and dice seems like the way to. I love slice and dice. Like I'm just like it's just a good old ability, um, but it's even better now because it does 100% increase attack speed instead of like it was like 25 or 15%, and it lasts longer. That's awesome. We're going with that. Slice and dice. Okay. Now here's a problem. I noticed my daggers are no good, and uh, I. Someone told me that there is a vendor nearby here. I believe that would allow me to get swords in the meantime while I work on my artifact quest. Um, so I think I need to find that vendor. I thought it was this guy for some reason, specialties. But apparently, he doesn't have anything. So, because as you can see over here, I got these little red things, and these things are no longer useful because they require assassination spec. Um, I am going to... What? Let's see, hold on. Well, not the cheese master. Uh, I think there's someone here that sells a weapon for me. What? Who is it? Barmaid? Wine and spirits? 
I'm going to pause the video for a minute while I look around and or look online if I have to. Master Smuggler, what is Master Smuggler? What do? can I do for you? Nothing. We are bound. Silly. The Baron of Gadatan doesn't have anything. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video for just a few minutes while I dig around. Oh, I can't go up here either. Oh, I can. I dig around and look for my. Oh, you can customize appearance of things. That's really cool. Huh. That's neat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video while I look around and figure out how to get myself some swords so I can actually do something. And we'll be right back. Okay, so we, uh, I found what I think is the person I should talk to, Kelsey Steelspark. And, uh, Kelsey's kind of a weird name for Azeroth. Um, repair all items. I went ahead and bought the Short Blade of Uncrowned, which is like a level, item level 740, which is not that much lower than the Kingslayer's, but I'm sure it's much worse for a lot of reasons. Uh, but at least it's a sword, so we can actually attack and use our weapons. Uh, I also went ahead and kind of worked on my hot bars down there a little bit, which I think are okay now. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to like relearn how to play Rogue again with these skills, but I think I, I've got a sense of what I need to do. Saber slash a bunch, and then run through, slice and dice, between the eyes, fire some, uh, some cannons, which looks so awesome. And we do have some more quests over here. Uh, I don't know, let's do a four hour quest. Um, let's talk more action. I need to... How do I... Unassign, there you go. <clears throat> okay. I serve. Garona, Let's Vanessa, a Gang of Bandits, Guaranteed Success. Bonus roll, okay. Um, uh, what's the other mission here? Vanessa, Corona, 100% chance, bonus follower experience, plus 100 experience. Sure, let's uh, do that. I, I honestly, like legitimately, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with most of these, but I feel like just sending them out repeatedly is probably better than not sending them out, so that's what's going to happen. I also recognize that I, I don't have poisons as a... Um, like, poisons are exclusive to assassination spec, apparently. Which is so weird to me. Like, poisons are such a rogue staple. I'm just now realizing that Outlaw doesn't have poisons. That's weird. I think it's weird. I don't know what you guys think. I think it's weird. Uh, now what I'd like to do is go the right way. Uh, head over this way. Because I want to work on this... Uh, artifact weapon. I want to get our um, oh, body evidence. Let's talk to. There's a corpse, right? She obviously dead, you idiot. <laughs> you sure she's dead? Maybe she's sleeping. Yeah, she looks pretty dead to me. She ain't sleeping, you dummy. She got a knife in her back. Yep, she has been wrecked. Why is she trying to sleep with a knife in her back? Hmm. Well, that was an easy quest. I'm gonna go turn that in real fast. Also, I've learned Blade Flurry. This is Blade Flurry is totally different. Uh, Blade Flurry is now a permanent buff. With a 10 second cooldown, so you can cancel it or, or recast it any time. Uh, while active, your melee attacks also strike all nearby enemies for 30% of your normal damage, but your energy generation is reduced by 20%. That's incredibly good for, um, and in fact, incredibly good for AoE, and so much better than Old Blade Flare. It used to be a 2 minute cooldown, and it would last for 15 seconds, I think. And it worked against, you did 100% damage against all, against two enemies. Um, so, to me this is a better, I like this better this way. It's just a permanent buff, so if you're in an area where you know you're going to do a lot of AoE, perfect. 
Use the scouting map and complete the mission Spy vs. Spy. Hmm. SI7, they've been around for a long time and they've been causing a lot of trouble. Mission, Spy vs. Spy, one hour. Unfortunately, I just sent these people out on a mission. Uh, can I, like, recall them from the mission? No, I can't. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. I will send them out for Spy vs. Spy later on. Uh, there's not much else I can do. What is over here? I see, like, someone on the map lit up for me. Oh, troops trained. Right. Okay. Maybe I can send these guys in. Recruited a, two gangs of bandits. Will these guys be able to do the quest? Uh, not very likely. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. We'll leave them, though. And then... There's so... Uh, what is all this stuff? There's, like, so many things on the map. I don't really understand what they are. Archivist. Okay, sorry. I'm, like, looking at the mini-map up there rather than looking at where I'm going. Hmm. Those ogres, by the way, those are really funny. I appreciate those ogres. How do I get in here? Isn't this where I need to go? I, I swear, I was just, just in this area. Oh, I'm perpetually confused by this game. Uh, Caplet, okay. I just want to see what that guy's doing. Is this a walrus? Yes, it looks like a walrus to me. Alright, well, I've done enough down here. We need to keep going along with our a friendly accord quest. This is what we're working on right now. The highlight is going to be working on this anyway. And we're actually getting close to the end of this episode here. But next episode, we definitely will continue along on these artifact quests. Uh, we got to get up here. I'm looking forward to pickpocketing. I didn't keep that in mind. Do I have pickpocket on here? Yeah, I do. So pickpockets up and ready to go. I also appreciate how fast we run now. We have 15% increased movement speed because of hit and run. That's awesome. That's seriously super great. Uh, I always wanted something like that. Which I know, like, mounts are the same thing. Uh, mount up. Speaking of mounts, I want to check what this Falling Star quest is over here, too. There's so many, like I said, there's so many things to do that I find myself not overwhelmed, as in I wish Blizzard made less things for us to do, but that I am <clears throat> recognizing there's more things to do than there's levels to do them in, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, so this is sending us to Suramar. But I don't want to go there yet. I want to go here. Right, just the right spot to be. Enter the chamber of the guardian, take the portal the car is on. Okay, nope, not the right spot. <laughs> One of these days, I will get around to understanding what I'm doing in this town, but at the moment, I am very continuously confused and going in circles. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. I knew it was around here somewhere. Yep, this is what I need. Take the portal to Karazan, okay. Fly to Booty Bay, okay. Karazan, 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 there we go. Uh, Mechaneer, th what is that guy? Is that, that's not Mechaneer Thermoplug, um, I forget what that guy's name is down there in the artwork. That's okay. What does this guy sell? I wish to trade. Huh, nothing too crazy. Cool. And then what is this? Pet trainer. Fly to Booty Bay. Booty Bay. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what Booty Bay looks like. There we go. This is heading over Zolgarub, right? Yeah. I was going to say it should be Zolgarub. Oh, there's the temple. There's the Edge of Madness, I think, if I remember right. This is really cool. Um, so how do you, if you can fly over Zolgarub, 
there's nothing here, right? Like, you should... Like, Hakar is not down here, right? I mean, you need to... Uh, still zone into the instance. Yeah, I don't see any mobs. It's weird being able to fly over... It's so weird being able to fly over things like that. Hmm. And you could actually go over that in... I guess you could get back there in vanilla, but you had to really do some fancy explore, exploration to get there, so you couldn't fly over it ever. And I don't remember quite what it looked like. Whoa. The draw distance is much better here. This looks so much different. It's, it's so weird seeing Stranglethorn Veil from above like this. Um, that's that little goblin logging camp down there. The oil rig. That's new. What the crap? That is... I mean, this is all Cataclysm stuff. I know this is not Legion changes, but this is all stuff that's really new to me. Um... There was never anything like that. I don't know what happened there. I mean, it honestly looks like Stranglethorn Vale got split into two chunks. Like, the center of it got, like, wiped out down here. There's... Okay. Huh. There's Gromgold Base Camp in the back. Man, I just want to fly... Well, I will take an episode one of these days and just fly around. I just want to explore the old world and really see how things have changed because it's incredible how much stuff has changed and I, I know like I really do know I said this already this is mostly cataclysm but it still is just so much different there's the Garabashi arena that survived I wonder if I gotta check this out real quick man I need to stay out of Kalimdor Eastern Kingdoms so I will never hit level 110 I remember just coming through here and just there was always people just running around out here is this still a neutral the arena Contested territory. Yep, it is still a PvP area. Hey, Short John Mithra, what are you up to? Hey, how you doing? Keep it real. Who's this guy? I hope this 110 doesn't kill me, because that would suck. Greetings. Go in peace. Hmm. What happens if we do this? Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with this ability yet. I'm gonna shoot this guy with my gun. Because that seems cool. Hmm. Arena Challenger. Smoked. Peace, friend. Be careful. This is gonna be like progressively harder mobs. Uh, <laughs> I just like one shot that guy. That was funny. Hold on, I'm I. This is a detour, obviously. Um, I mean that was an easy thirty thousand experience. I, that was so weird. I don't really understand the point of that at all. But okay. I just think there'd be like more and more mobs to fight. Maybe there are, maybe I need to be higher level. But that last one, we just like, like the first guy, he was like actually... You killed... Yeah, I literally hit him for 20,000. And it was a, a huge overkill. And he died. He just like shit, it blew up. I just smoked that guy. Huh. I have no clue what that's for. There used to be an event out there. Every three hours, a chest would appear in the center of the arena. And it would have some like potions or food, and then you get an item that you could collect enough of, you could turn them in for a reward of some pretty useful gear. But I don't know what happened to that. Hold on, I can get a skill up on iron even? Hold on a sec. What was that? Heavy stone and iron ore nuggets. Ten nuggets or one ore, okay. And there's one more thing I need to check out over here, and then I'll be on my way. Is there still... Good Guy Bruce. There was Pretty Boy Duncan over there at one point, but he's gone now, and it's Good Guy Bruce. Interesting. Pretty Boy Duncan, I guess, is uh, no longer in WoW, it's sad. Well... Thank you, Mr. Corsair. Where do we 
we turn this in. Here we go. Raise a mug for the outlaw that's gonna take the dreadblade from that blasted Elaze's cold dead hands. Take it Just let me know when you're Okay. We're gonna cut the episode here today. We've put in some a good amount of time. We got some things done. I'm very happy with that. And we're now back in Eastern Kingdoms, which is really cool. I'm excited to explore Eastern Kingdoms. Um, Vashjir, that's a new spot. Ruins of Galneas. That's like a starting zone for the Worgen, I think. Yeah, okay, so we're going to stop here for today. But next time, we're going to come back. We're going to work on the Dreadblades quest. Quest, set sail, obtain the Dreadblades, get our artifact weapons. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, but that's all for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you next time.